M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're going to add the ID52 programming software from RT Systems. I am a big fan for $20 or £20, $25. You get this really easy to use software and you can add radio frequencies, channels, memories, DR mode from one radio to another. That to me, that is a, you know, a really good idea. There's the USB driver you'll need. Just use a normal micro USB cable, that's all you need. They do sell the cable, uh, you pay extra for that. So then, let's have a look at the actual software. Here it is here. Uh, I've been playing around with it, but let's just show you it reading the radio for the first time. So we'll start off with a, a blank page and we'll go communications, get data from radio and click OK. And it's that simple. I didn't even turn it on and off as they recommend, but you should do. So let's just let that populate okay it's getting near the end and the good thing about it is to buy it you don't you know you go to their site choose the radio and they send it you via email you get a special serial number and your email and you just download it it's that quick and it's that good so look we've got everything here these these new tabs are ones i've been using where i've been messing around so the good thing is you can select and it's by default that every time you read to the or read from the radio it will open a new tab why does it do that so you don't lose your original files that's that's the main thing you don't lose that so if you look here we've got memories skip memories limit memories dr memories and these are all extensive look how easy they are to change look Bristol and you on on the in the software you, it doesn't matter if you've got multiple B's it's not got the it doesn't come back to you like the radios it does and says oh sorry you've got a duplicate call sign because that's quite annoying call channels uh, GPS memories nothing in there at the moment but we can import that um, so what else have we got here settings radio settings menu now I'm brand new to this so I'm no expert I'm just showing you so look at all these different settings brightness timeout timer key lock active bands it really the good thing about it is that you really get to see what your radio can do and how amazing that radio is and, and why these radios are four or five hundred pounds lots of settings there tabs gps and let's have a look what else we can find let's click out of that settings bank names click ok then we got preferences is quite a good one because in preferences you can sort of decide what you want to see when you're looking at the you know your different windows so that's very handy uh, get data adjust speed settings menus preferences. now the other one you can do is the repeater import so you just go file external data repeater book choose we want two meters and 70 here bristol uk i am 50 mile radius click ok and look there's all your repeaters and then click create file and then you can just send that to your radio you can copy and paste it and add it to your memory channels if you want so there's a merit so we'll go copy file uh edit copy like so, and then we'll click here and scroll all the way down. We copied that, uh, copy, and then we can paste it into our channels, memories. Let's just paste at the bottom, like so. I'm not sure if it'll work now that I've done that, but we'll still try. File, paste. There you are, it's pasted a load. Or you can paste individual channels. It's just, just by literally clicking them and highlighting them. It's just very, very user-friendly software. So anyway, that's all for now. So thanks for watching my channel. Please remember to subscribe. 7-3, catch you on now. All the best.